Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Let's go ahead and make another steal out of this Nicholson file. Now, in the description you'll find the two videos related to this file. The one where I went to the flea market and found it, and then the one yesterday where I checked it to make sure that it did cast sparks, and it does. You're not gonna be able to drill a hole through the, the hard part of the file, but this down here is soft enough to drill through. So, the uh, paracord is just under 3 16ths. So I got a 3 16ths drill. I got a center punch to try to get it as centered as possible. Um, and then this just to countersink the hole, a half inch drill bit. And now a word about the, the grinder. I get a lot of flack from people saying, oh, how dangerous a side grinder is, which I can't help but call an angle grinder a side grinder. That's what I've been calling it my whole life. But um, I've used these for years and years and years and never has a blade exploded on me and taken out my eye or embedded in my head, which I hear all kinds of horror stories. I worked in a company that had 10 men in it and we was always on three or four jobs at the same time. Never did any of they tell me that there was a problem with it. But if you don't have many, many years of experience with a side grinder like I do, you probably have a friend that is a welder, a steel worker, works in a fab shop, or maybe a pipe fitter like I am, or a pipe fitter like I was. Get them to go ahead and make this very easy build for you. Otherwise, if you do have a lot of experience, go ahead and put the handle back in, put the guard back on, hearing protection, eye protection, gloves, you know, all the standard safety precautions. I think the issue that people are running into with exploding cutting discs are that they're putting a disc that's not supposed to be turned as fast as their grinder is turning it on the grinder. This grinder is a DW402. It turns 12,000 RPM. These right here says not to exceed 13,300, the cutting disc and the quarter inch grinding disc. So I'm well below at 12,000 RPMs what these max out at. So just a word about that because I know I'm going to hear from people saying, oh, I've seen it. I've seen, I've seen these cutting discs explode and put people's eyes out. I haven't, but I believe them. I believe that there's poor technique. I believe that there's maybe people buying stuff online that's not a good quality cutting disc. I believe that people are overspinning their discs. I have seen these, these blades fragment over the years, like a little part will break off the edge and I could feel fragments hitting my arm. I have seen them split before, but I've never seen one explode. I've never seen one go through a face shield and um, eye protection and get somebody in the eye like you hear all these stories. So you still need to use caution. So let's go ahead and get started. I usually like this to be, I like for my steel to be about as long as my palm. So that's where we'll cut it off right here. So we'll make a good square line right across there. And then we're gonna cut the tang off at about, I don't know, about right here. And then we'll drill a hole right in the center right there. And then we'll take a round over those two corners, these two corners, those two corners, and drill the hole. Then we'll go ahead and grind down the, the filings on the side too. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah, and finger tongs too. And then our flea market fine claw hammer. That's what we'll use for the center punch. Let's get started. about overheating 
because driving sparks off of a file or anything else that serves as a steel is a function of the carbon content and the hardness of it. So probably took a lot of the temper out of the very end right here. So that doesn't really matter, but I will definitely be carefully smoothing off these sides here when it comes time to that, because I do not want to take the temper out, which will affect the sparkiness of this steel. about out of power on my battery. take the filings off the side. No, let's put the lanyard on. There it is. Now, of course, if you have access to a drill press, you can get that lanyard hole much more centered than I did. But my center punch was, was dead in the center and the drill bit drifted. I guess I could have drilled a lead hole first, but that was just a 3 16 drill bit and it drifted. You know, there's hard and soft metal uh, in that part of the tang. So let's go ahead and clean the table off and go ahead and try it. All right, the one we just made is a little shorter and it's not as wide, but I'll bet it's just as sparky. Let's try it out. Let's try this little sliver. Look at how small that sliver is. Let's try that. Here's another very thin one. We'll, we'll have that as a standby. Right. Like to tear it in half, line up the two edges. Put those itches on this 
really thin piece here. Let me get the edges lined up better than that. And give it a try. I lay the lanyard right up beside the steel. Well, I'm just showering that char cloth with, with sparks and it will not ignite. Let me get this out of the way. Now that was ignited and it went out. We got to practice some more, try to figure out what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. Well, let's practice some more. Here's the rest of that piece. Line those threads up. Put them right on this sharp edge here. And try it again. Don't expect the one strike ignite everything. This 100% humidity out here probably has something to do with this char cloth not catching sparks like it normally does. See, even the tender bundles aren't doing like they usually do. It's gotta be this 100% humidity out here. I'm gonna try some leaves. Hold on, let me get some leaves.
Now, a lot of times when you get an ember that hot down inside some leaves, if you just let it sit there and cook, you can tell that it's very hot by how fast the smoke is coming off of there. If you just let it sit in there and cook for like 30 seconds, the next time you blow on it, it'll go to flames. Alright y'all, make sure you check out my other bill videos in the description. Make sure you check out my other bill videos in the description. Get out to the flea market, yard sales, find you some Nicholson files, and make you a great steal. Alright y'all, I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.